In this video, we'll update a Tracer 3D visual from version 2 to version 3. The best workflow for this is to create a new visual in version 3 and refer back to the version 2 visual for its information. The two types of visuals are not directly compatible because so many changes have been made to the back end. So, we will shrink the version 2 visual that is currently on the canvas here and that will give us some room on the canvas to add a version 3 visual. We can refer back to the data structure in the version 2 visual and apply the same data to the version 3 visual and that will give us very similar results. So first we'll copy in element mesh to geometry and to the highlight field. We need name for the category to match what was previously done. And we'll need number and area for the tooltip. Now all of the data fields are matching between the two visuals. We did not need to update the data in order to do this. We can use the same data just in the updated version of the visual. You'll notice that the colors are slightly different. That's because the two versions have slightly different defaults for the colors. It doesn't appear like the colors in this visual were critical to any specific language. They're just colored differently to distinguish between the two. However, if it is important that they match, it's relatively easy to make sure that they do so. We'll go into the Format Your Visual and Data Colors, and under this label of Categorical, we can copy all of these various colors to the new visual in the same location. So let's switch over to this visual. You can see it's set to Categorical, and we could select the same colors that we were using before, likely using their hex number would probably be the fastest and copy those over. We can also, in the visualization panel, set the background color to match what was there before and change things like the title. It's a relatively simple workflow and you can see looking side by side at these two visuals that the styles are uh, a pretty pretty different looking with the new version updates. So give this a shot and you should be able to update your visuals no problem.